you're looking at here is essentially, this is a fighter pilot helmet for motorcyclists. And so what this has is a heads-up display. It's an augmented reality motorcycle helmet. Let's turn it the other way. And so what it does is it renders a 180-degree viewing angle rear view camera. And it shows that in the heads-up display here. And the heads-up display is focused at infinity, which is really important because uh, the rider can check the display and look back out at the horizon and back at the display again, and there's no delay. There's no delay in reaction time. Right, and that's this little projector here. Exactly. It's similar to the projector from um, uh, Google Glass. Right, right. What is that technology called? Uh, well, this is what the military calls a reticle. A um, reticle. Yeah, but it basically it leverages a polarizing beam splitter, which is just a term they use in optics for how they split the beam so that you can both look through the image as well as uh, see the image. But the important feature that uh, Scully has is because it's focused at infinity, when you're looking far away, the image looks far away. And when you're looking at something up close, the image looks up close. So it's always in focus. Let's play the video, because the video really shows it super well. And I, you know, I wore it backstage, and I want to wear it every day. I want this, you know, like eyes in the back of your head. And that's the camera right here, correct? Correct. So there's a little camera right there. We'll show that in a minute. But here's the product. This is the product video. And um, I want to see the actual video of the person riding, because that's really the thing that's super, super compelling, is when you actually see somebody riding, there you go. So on the bottom right here, you see your speed. Um, you can see navigation and turns. Where is it getting that information from, the speed and the navigation information? So it connects with um, an iPhone or an Android phone. And what it does is it, it takes that, that data, that detail. So it's turn-by-turn uh, -turn navigation. Um, also, it has uh, telemetry. So it can draw telemetry from the bike. And we'll talk about that a little bit later with respect to our SDK. Um, and it also shows your speed. So it uses GPS-derived speed. And it puts that in the heads-up display. And why that's important is because that's You want to be able to outrun cops. <laughs> I would never say that on no. TV. <laughs> but bikers do this. This is a, uniquely, a unique thing for bikers. They do outrun cops pretty easily. That's because their bikes are, are a lot faster than the cars, I would suppose. It is part of biker culture. Everybody's got a story about that. You're part of this biker culture, yeah? I can't speak to that, unfortunately, Jason. Yes, OK. No firsthand knowledge, but. Right. I've heard stories. Friends have told me. Yeah. How long have you been biking for? Um, about six years. You ever drop the bike? You ever? Everybody's got their story of going down, for sure. Mine was what actually led to the idea for Scully. So I was on my motorcycle in Barcelona. I looked to my right to read a street sign. And because I was doing that, I hadn't noticed that this little red smart car in front of me had actually slammed on the brakes. And so by the time I looked forward and noticed it, I was already smashing into the back of it. Wow. Were we going 20, 30 miles an hour? Uh, it was probably less than that, but it, it, it definitely felt like 90 miles an hour. It, it really Did you wreck the bike? Wrecked the, totaled the bike, and uh, what ended up happening is a few months later, I had this dream that I was back on the motorcycle that day. It was an exact flashback dream, but the difference was that I had these GPS maps, and they were floating out in front of me like a hologram. Mm. And I sat up in bed, and I realized, like, that would have prevented my accident. I wouldn't have been looking around it for the street sign. I would have been focused on the road ahead. And so I went online to try to buy it, and uh, like many founders in this room have probably had this experience, it didn't exist, and I couldn't believe it. And I just wasn't willing to accept that, so I, I decided to start building it.